I would say that um, various forms of Orthodox Christianity are growing uh, roughly in, at a roughly similar pace to no faith. So I would actually say America's polarizing. What you're losing is the mushy middle where, for example, my in-laws were raised Presbyterian. Um, they, they would never be very uh, evangelistic. They would never tell other people they ought to believe. Uh, they were conservative in their uh, political views, probably in their social views, and yet uh, they were very, very vague about what their Christian beliefs were they, because they were expected to go to church. That's going away. You either are a person who is somewhat alienated from religion, institutional religion, or you're moving toward more crunchy Orthodox faiths like uh, Pentecostalism or conservative Catholicism or evangelical Protestantism. And I think they're both growing. And so what you're losing is the middle ground, and that's part of the polarization we're getting in the culture. I, I think uh, we are a pretty non-combative uh, kind of Orthodox Christianity. Uh, in fact, I put it this way. I say to my congregation, I, I want the neighbors around our church to say this, to say, I don't believe what they believe, but I would hate to see what the neighborhood would look like without them. So, I, and I say to my folks, I say, I want you to ask this question, what kind of church do we have to be so that all the people of this city, whether they believe like we do or not, uh, feel like we've made this a better city for them to live in? Now that's, that's, I would say, a bridge, because I would say be distinctive in your Christianity, be absolutely uh, uh, strong in your distinctive Christian beliefs, but out of it, have a servant heart. So in a way, I think we are bridging that gap. That's one of the reasons why, if I use the word evangelical in New York City, uh, people will expect me to be more militant than I am.